Hi, my name's Kate. I am a high school math teacher on the very first day of year 19. I thought that today I would take you guys along for a day in my life, just showing off the first day of school. So we're on a block schedule. So with this block schedule, I will see three classes today. I'm gonna see two of my pre-calc classes and my quantitative reasoning class. And so, uh, you know, just really excited to get this school year started. Uh, let me show you guys what I have planned for my kids today. The first activity that my kids are going to do, they're going to get one of these pencil boxes, which has a 100 piece puzzle in it. And these puzzles are just different uh, cereal box puzzles. But what I did do was I took, let's say it was this one, this piece of the puzzle actually doesn't belong. Okay, it really does. But let's say it doesn't belong in this puzzle. So they have two pieces in here that don't belong with their puzzle. And two of their pieces are mixed within one of the other boxes. So when the kids are putting those together, they're going to have to figure out which puzzle pieces don't belong to theirs, where they belong, and where theirs are. So that's the first activity. Then we're going to do a get to know you activity, which they'll need the colored pencils and I've got scissors there. So it's just this all about me where the students are going to put, you know, their dream job, their favorite show, favorite food, you know, just answering random questions about them. So they'll do this. There's a spot for their name. They'll do this and then they'll color it and then they'll cut out at the hexagon and then I'll put the hexagon on one of my walls, probably somewhere over there because there's nothing on those walls. So they're gonna do those things. And then my pre-calc kids, so that's gonna be the same for all my classes. My pre-calc kids are gonna then do this review of Algebra 1 and Algebra 2. And then when they're done, they're going to get to pick one of these four, there's four different binder covers here that they can pick from and they will get to color. And then that will be in for their binder. My quantitative reasoning kids are going to do those first two activities, the puzzle and the about me hexagon, and then they're not going to do the binder cover right away. They're going to do an activity called how many giraffes can fit on the moon. And so this kind of really sets the tone for that class about what they're doing. And it's all about problem solving, reasoning, thinking about your answers, working together, doing presentations. So their job is to figure out and do research about, you know, all of the math that they need, all of the measurements that they need so that they can and figure out how many giraffes can fit on the moon and then they're going to make a poster of this and present those so they'll start it today and then in class on a friday they will finish their you know their research their math their poster they'll present those and then they will do something that is similar to this different questions just because quantitative reasoning requires you know different prereq skills so it's a lot more of the adding and subtracting fractions the decimals percents um, that sort of thing instead and then they have very similar binder covers. The only difference is that it says QR instead, but they have the same four options for calculator covers. So that's my plan for today. Now it is um, 720, got here super early, but that's me. I like to be here early. So I'm just going to work on getting some things done, getting ahead, making sure that I am ready for Friday, Monday, and some of next week. I always start off my class with start of class slides. So this year I decided to make a different theme every month just to kind of fit that month. So each day of the week they have a different gnome that fits this little back to school theme. But I always have the date on there, the to do, so it'll just tell all the kids exactly what they need to do when they get in. Upcoming is where I'll list upcoming uh, tests, quizzes, things like that. Today just talking about what we're gonna do and then I always have a meme of of the day or a joke of the day. So I'm hoping to really train my students this year when they come in, they really need to read this. They need to complete those to-do tasks in order so that we can get off to a good start and get through what we need to. Um, and I'm just going to explain the next activity so that everybody that's done can move on and do the last thing that we're gonna do. My first two and a half classes are done. Um, the puzzle activity went really well with the kids, especially first block. It, you know, I noticed they got up, they were talking with other teams, they were really trying to find their puzzle pieces and figure out where they belonged. So I thought that was a great twist on the activity. Now, what I did at the end of first block, I had them disassemble their puzzle, put it all in the pencil box except two pieces. And then I said, okay, I want you guys to take your two pieces, give them to two different teams and get two new ones back. Um, it worked okay, definitely, you know, some groups wound up with four or five different pieces that didn't belong to their puzzle and it was fine it just added to the you know the craziness of the puzzle activity so it was really fun um, 
um, I've got 32 kids in each class. My classes grew a little bit, so it'll be it'll be good. Um, and then they did the About Me activity, colored that. Definitely have kids that are not excited about coloring, and some of them that expressed that to me, and I said, well, you know, it'll be fine. It's gonna be fun. So um, we did that, and now I'm 30 minutes into my third block. We have B lunch, there are four different lunches, so we have the second lunch, so I see them for 30 minutes. They go to lunch for 30 minutes, and then they come back for an hour. So we just finished up the puzzle activity. When they come back, they're gonna do the About Me hexagon, and then we're going to do the, um, you know, how many rocks can fit on the moon. So I'm excited for that. And then I have my plan period. I'm ready for that. It's I have not had a fourth block, a last period plan ever. So it is, it's a lot teaching all my classes and then having a break. So uh, that is definitely something I'm going to have to get used to. But anyway, I'm going to enjoy my lunch. So I brought uh, a salad today. So I have this great Benko container that holds everything for my salad. So in the lid, there's a fork. And then it has two different parts. So here are all of my toppings. And then underneath this lifts up and then the salad is there. Now there is a container that's supposed to go here for dressing, but I just bring a bottle of dressing because you know, that's how I roll. So gonna eat lunch, relax a little bit and then finish my third block today. My third class is done for the day. Um, so the about me right after lunch went pretty well. I did have one student, unfortunately, instead of just cutting out the um, outline of the hexagon, was cutting out each individual piece, even after I was like, hey guys, make sure you just cut out the outline and I showed them what it was gonna look like. It's okay, I had, I think, one in every single class today. So hopefully I can avoid that tomorrow. So I just taped it up after class and it was good. And then they tackled the how many giraffes activity. They did okay on this for, you know, being the first day and expecting them to do a lot of thinking on their own. Um, I think my, the biggest issue was a lot of the kids didn't have their Chromebooks with them. And so I told them for today that they could use their phones, but I noticed that there was uh, two groups. Okay, I only have four groups right now. This is a really small class and a couple of kids are no longer in the class. So I, right now I think I have 16 kids. So two of my four groups, more the ones that didn't have their Chromebooks and so they were on their phones and definitely could tell that they were not necessarily looking up the information they were looking things up but I'm not sure that it pertained to what we were doing so it was a little bit I was a little bit frustrated um but you know again I know it's the first day of class first day of school so going to set those expectations um a little lenient today only because it's the first day and they don't necessarily have those things but I did talk to them at the end of class that they are required to bring their Chromebooks to class every period if it's dying or dead just plug it in right away because we're going to be doing a lot of this type of like searching things up and doing some research on their own and using their devices and I will not after today allow them to use phones so if they don't have a Chromebook they're gonna to have to go to our library and check one out and hope that you know by the third block of the day there are still Chromebooks to be checked out um, if they need one so they got through a lot of that. And then at the start of our class on Friday, they're gonna make their posters and do their presentations. And I think, you know, I will be harsh when I leave comments, you know, just making sure, hey, these are the expectations and this is what I'm looking for, but I'll be a little lenient on the grading. I am going to work on, you can see, I already have it over here, my quantitative reasoning, their notes that they're gonna start doing. We're gonna start with Venn diagrams. So I'm working on recreating those notes that I had in the past, which I didn't necessarily like how they were. So I'm redoing those so that I'm ready to go for Monday. Now an update on um, my, if you watched my first teacher days video, and I'll leave that, if I remember, I'll, I'll leave that linked up here. But I was having an issue with the, um, AirDroid cast that I used to use to cast my iPad to my computer, which then I could project on the screen and it wasn't working. And I was really frustrated and I tried all of these things, nothing worked. I tried a bunch of different apps, nothing was working and I was getting so frustrated. And then talking with our instructional tech uh, gal, she was like, I wonder if it's because of the new firewalls that we have in place. So I put in a tech ticket saying, hey, this is what I'm using and this is why, is there any way we can get this approved or something similar? And they said, no. The only thing that they have that they're using is this one air team thing and the 
which is great. They said it's the only thing they're allowed to use. However, it requires a whole new docking system, which then requires me to unplug my computer so that I can then project my iPad. But then I, when I want to jump back to my computer, I have to unplug things, plug things in, and it's not really ideal for jumping between the iPad and the computer. So I was like, well, if that's the only thing that's approved i do need that set up because i really need to teach with the ipad you're just going to have to show me how we change from one thing to another especially because i do have another teacher in here one block and so i need to make sure that he can still teach as well so working through things i feel like you know the <laughs> last year if you followed along with my videos it, you know it, it was a struggle until i got that ipad to teach with and then everything just seemed to to flow better and to work better. So I'm gonna do what it takes to get this working and uh, yeah, just keep going from there. So anyway, I'm gonna get off of here talking and I'm going to get productive. Well, that's it. My very first day of year 19 is over. I'm going to, um, with this first day of school, because my classes tomorrow are also brand new, I'm gonna record tomorrow too and include that and have, you know, first two days back of school. So um, yeah, I'm gonna head out and I will see you guys tomorrow. So it's my second first day with students and I thought I would add this into the video. So I am here, it's about 7.30 first class starts at 8 25 so today i have two college algebras and then my pre-calc class so my all three classes are going to start the same way we're going to do that puzzle activity again and then we're going to do the about me hexagon so the review that my college algebra kids are doing that's similar to the pre-calc review it's just more algebra based skills so it's a lot of more solving equations um, some proportions and then there is a little bit of factoring on the back simplifying so just more of the things that you now my college algebra is the first semester of pre-calc. I teach that all year. So they will be doing the same skills, but uh, we go at a slower pace. And so I picked some of the more easy skills, more basic skills. And then they've got the same four covers that my pre-calc kids do. The only difference is it says college algebra instead of pre-calc. So that's the plan today. I need to work on getting seat chart, seating charts made for my classes today, and I need to get that puzzle set up for my first class. All right, so I am on my way down to get staff pictures. They do student pictures the very first four days of school. So I'm gonna head down and go get my picture taken. Yay. This is the same outfit that I've worn for pictures for at least, I think, four years now? Five years now? The only difference is my earrings change and my hair changes length, but that's it go over this last thing and you understand what's expected, okay? So, pencils, colored pencils, scissors, all that stuff down for just a second. Okay. So the last activity that you guys are gonna work on is a review of skills that you should know how to do coming into here. Most of these are algebra one, some algebra two, kind of a mix between the two. Um, so this is just kind of getting you guys to start thinking about what we're gonna be working on. Okay, so I'm on my plan period, I'm talking quiet because I'm in our math office and there's quite a few teachers on prep, so I'm just trying to be respectful. Um, first class went well, the puzzle took a really long time, much longer than I thought it would, so they didn't have quite as much time to do the math part, which I wanted them to, but um, you know, they were definitely a huge group of friends and wanted to just talk rather than work, so that's something that we're going to have to work through. Um, so I'm just going to work on getting stuff ready for my pre-cal class tomorrow and college algebra, which I'll see again on Monday, um, because my quantitative reasoning is at least planned for tomorrow. So making copies and I realize I need my binder clips, which I moved to my room thinking that was the best spot for them. I think I need to move them back. So I went to our supply closet to grab, I know we have, you know, binder clips and stuff and that's what we've got. Like, it's gonna hold like three pieces of paper. I have never seen a binder clip so small. So yeah, challenges of, okay, having my own room, except for one period, I gotta figure out still what needs to stay in the math office. So I have it on that plan period and what I can bring to my room because I want it in there. We'll get it figured out throughout the year. This is so tiny. It's 30 minutes into my 
class and they're off to lunch. So we did the puzzle activity. This class, actually this class, it's a smaller class. I've got 20-ish kids. They did amazing with this puzzle. The groups all worked together really well. They communicated. They helped other groups out. It was really good. So I'm excited about this class. Um, so yeah, I'm going to eat lunch. I brought leftovers. Um, I have this. This is just the inside of it. I have like a little mini personal crock pot thing that's really awesome. I plug it in about 30 minutes before I want my lunch and everything's nice and warm. I forgot, forgot the cord at home. The cord does, you know, wrap around the inside of it, but you know, over the summer, I'm not sure what happened to it. So I got to find it so that I can um, continue to have that. But I will leave a link. This one specific is no longer available, but I will leave their original one. It's a round one and um, most of my teacher friends have that and it's such a great thing, especially if you don't wanna have to walk all the way to you know, the staff lounge or your office to warm up your lunch, like I normally don't wanna do because it's kind of a haul. So I'm gonna enjoy lunch real quick and then get back to teaching. Okay, my day is over. I know I didn't get a lot of clips of me teaching. Um, just, you know, enjoying my kids were, did a great job this last block with their puzzles. It was fun. I did have one kid that I knew from last year, um, a couple other kids that I knew from uh, cross country. So it seems like a really good class. And yeah, it was overall a really good day. I'm exhausted. It's, you know, I've got about 30 minutes before I can leave. So yeah, I'm just going to get my room picked up a little bit um, and then just make sure that I'm set up for tomorrow with my classes. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this day in my life or two days in my life um, of my first days of school. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you are interested in following along more with my journey as I teach and start year 19, please subscribe. I do upload videos every Friday, but you can hit that notification bell to be notified the next time a video goes live. I hope you guys have a mathy day. Bye.